Hello, good afternoon everyone. Like I promised, I'm here to read you a story and to introduce you to Nellie. This is Nellie. She's been keeping me a ton of company the past couple of days and she wanted to meet you all too. So she's going to sit with us while we read a book. I was going to read this book and send it to you on St. Patrick's Day. It's called Shamrock Sean, but I did not. So I'm going to read it for you today. The Adventures of Shamrock Sean. Okay, so we have Shamrock Sean in the Wishing Well. Shamrock Sean got out of bed and rubbed his sleepy eyes. He looked out of the window at the clear blue sunny skies. It's such a lovely day, he said. I know just what I'll do. I'll go down to the Wishing Well and make a wish or two. He ran across the meadow, he ran right through the woods, until he reached the wishing well, and next to it he stood. But he couldn't see inside, for the wishing well was tall. He said, it's not fair, I'm really far too small. He moved a big square stone and climbed up on the rim. Then the silly leprechaun leaned over and fell in. He shouted very loudly, Oh, someone help me, please. I'm here inside this wishing well with water to my knees. He got very cold and hungry in that wishing well so deep. He tried to climb the wall, but found it was too steep. He waited and he waited. It seemed like hours and hours. Then suddenly he remembered the wishing well's great powers. Shamrock Sean closed his eyes and he wished with all of his might. I wish that I was home, he said. There was a flash of light. At once he was back home again, his feet still soaking wet. His, sorry, I wish and it came true, he said. It's the best wish I've made yet. Right, now we have Shamrock Sean in the bird's nest. Okay. One day in the springtime, Shamrock Sean worked near the hedge. Digging in his garden, he was planting greens and veg. Vegetables so good to eat. He leant, leaned up on the garden spade to have a little rest. And from the corner of his eye, he spied a small bird's nest. He climbed between the branches and stood up on one leg. There, hidden down inside the nest, he saw a single egg. Oh wow, so much sound coming from my house. By a miracle of nature, the egg began to crack. It made him lose his balance, and he stumbled and fell back. Just then the mother bird appeared and said, What did you do? My little egg's not due to hatch for another day or two. Sean said, I just stood on the branch to get a better view. I didn't touch your little egg. Honestly, it's true. I must find warm, said Mother Bird, but since he's newly born, I can't go off and search for food and leave him on his own. I've got it, don't worry, responded Sean, Shamrock Sean. You stay here and leave the food to this here leprechaun. So Sean ran to his garden, where the soil was freshly tilled. He collected worms and handfuls till the bucket load was filled. What a good helper. He came back to the hungry chick and said, I worms galore. If there's not enough to feed him, I can get a whole lot more. Thank you, Sean. You're very kind, the mother bird then said. And she lifted up a wing to pat him gently on his head. I thought that leprechauns were mean, or so I have been told, but now I know it isn't true. You're worth your weight in gold. We have one more story. It's called Shamrock Sean Goes Fishing. Shamrock Sean went fishing down by the river's edge. His rod was just a little stick he found beside the hedge. To it he tied a piece of string, and that would be the line his hook was just a safety pin, but it would do just fine. He put the stick between two stones. He fixed it firm and tight. 
then lay down in the summer sun and waited for a bite. After many hours of waiting, the rod began to twitch. Shamrock Sean said to himself, this must be one big fish. Or could it be a heavy boot? Or might it be a rag? But then he saw the safety pin had hooked a leather bag. <laughs> He opened up the bag and could not believe his eyes, for it was full of precious gems. What a great surprise. He put his hand into the bag and moved it all about. He found a note and trembled as he read the message out. Whoever finds my little bag must not remove one gem, or I, the evil river witch, will cast a spell on them. Would you remove the gems? I don't think I would. Shamrock Sean is honest, so he closed up the bag tight and threw it back in the stream with all his strength and might. It hit the water with a splash as he fell upon the ground. Then a big fish grabbed his foot and dragged him river bound. Let me go, cried Shamrock Sean. He flapped his arms and screamed, and then suddenly he woke up. It had all been just a dream. On the soft grass in the sun, upon the banks to steep, he rolled into the water when he'd fallen fast asleep. He crawled out of the water and the rod began to twitch. Oh no, he cried as he ran home. Here comes the river witch. All right, I hope you enjoyed our adventures of Sham Shamrock Sean. And I'm curious, did anyone catch a leprechaun? So let me know how your um, what is it called? St. Patrick's Day was, and I would love to see pictures if you still have your same, your leprechaun traps. So I miss you all very, very much, and I'll be sending more videos soon. Don't forget, listen to your parents, help with chores, and do your work. And here's Nellie. Say hello, Nellie. We both miss you very, very, very much, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.